Hi guys, it's Lee Howe. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some ideas for teacher appreciation gifts. It's getting to be that time of year where it is teacher appreciation week or day. It is also getting to the end of the school year, which means it is time to really show your appreciation to your teachers, your children's teachers. If you didn't know already, I used to be an elementary school teacher and um, as a teacher you get a lot of different types of gifts. I just thought I would share my gift ideas with you just from the perspective of a teacher. Teachers often work much harder than what you see at the school. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that you don't see that teachers do out of their own time and pay for out of their own pocket. So showing them a little bit of appreciation is a really nice idea. I'm sure that your child's teacher would appreciate any type of thank you that you give them. Personally, I don't think that you have to show your thanks by, give, by spending a lot of money. I think you can be creative in the way that you give things and thoughtful, and that's the biggest part, is being thoughtful with it. I guess I'll start off with the cheapest idea to the most expensive idea. And the cheapest idea is actually free. If you don't have any extra money to spend on a thank you, have your child sit down, draw a picture, write a thank you note, have them write down what they're most thankful for for their teacher. And I know that as a teacher, I would have really appreciated something like that. I mean, I did appreciate thank you notes from my students. My next idea is to put together a nice little gift, and this is actually a quick DIY. I went to Target, found these really cute cups, which they actually, I think they sell at the Dollar Tree too. They're just these like tumbler cups that have the insulation and the cute straw that stays in there. And every teacher needs drinks, whether it be water to hydrate throughout the day and stay hydrated, or coffee in the morning, tea in the morning to give them some energy. So a cup like this or a coffee mug filled with goodies and things is always a great idea. I filled these with some tea bags and some chocolate. Most teachers, <laughs> most women like chocolate. So if you have a woman teacher, definitely chocolate might be a good idea. Um, and you can always ask your kid, what, is, what does your teacher like? Do they, do they bring in a certain drink every day? Does your teacher drink coffee every morning? And your child will know those things. And so you can just kind of tweak your gift according to what your kid's teacher likes. And then the best idea to put in here is a nice little gift card. And even if you just have $5 to throw in there, a $5 gift card to Starbucks or to Jamba Juice or even just $5 straight, just throw it in there. You can put it in be between the tissue paper and it's a great way to say thank you. And you don't have to spend a ton of money to do it, but $5 I mean, that's a small thank you in the grand scheme of things of what your teacher does for your kid. Gift cards, cash, always a great idea, always nice and sweet. They can use it to whatever they need, whether it be for the classroom or for a night out with their husband or wife. So gift cards to restaurants or coffee places or the movies are all great ideas to give your teacher with a nice thank you note. And like I said, a letter from the child is always a great and sweet way to say thank you. Now, if you want to get a little bit bigger in your, or grand in your gift giving, you can think of not just your teacher, but all of the staff that work with your children, or even if you're at a small school, the whole staff of the school. And I've seen gifts like a huge bowl of chocolate put in the teacher's workroom, which was amazing because that bowl can last them all week, if not longer. And that's only a about, you know, three bucks a bag for chocolate, that's like three bags, that's like 10 bucks for, for this huge gift for the entire staff. I think that is such a sweet idea. And then they're constantly reminded during the week while they're eating that chocolate that there's some people out there that are being very grateful for what they're doing as teachers. Another amazing gift, and maybe even something that you would get together with other moms or parents to give is bringing in lunch, like having a lunch delivery or having a lunch buffet for the teachers made. This might be something that's more PTA organized, but if it's not, suggesting this to a few of your parent friends might be a great idea. Bringing in bagels. I know that um, Panera Bread has sales on Tuesdays where the bagels are like way underpriced and they come with cream cheese and everything and you just bring in a huge bag, leave it in the office, and then all the teachers will get to get to it at some point during the day. Those are always really wonderful gifts because sometimes teachers just don't have time to pack their lunch or to eat their lunch. So having these kinds of things that they can grab and go are always such a nice gift and thoughtful so that the teachers can kind of relax during their day. I think the most important thing in gift giving to your teachers is just being um, selfless and thinking of what they would want and really truly showing them how thankful you are, whether it be through a handwritten note 
or a big grand gesture. So those are my ideas for teacher appreciation week or day or the end of the year gifts. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. This helps us know what kind of videos you guys like most and it also helps bring others to our channel. Don't forget we're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and we would love to hear any of your comments in any of those places. So I guess that's all and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.